Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use quick favorites in Blender 2.8 and how to use it to solve a workflow issue that comes up with curves that's giving some people heartburn. Ready? Let's go. All right, so right here, I'm sitting here with a Bezier curve, and you can see if I hit tab in here, it's just a curve and I just have it extruded and beveled and stuff just so it looks cooler for you guys. And in previous versions of Blender, if you wanted to make this into a polygon object, like right now it's a curve, if you wanted to make this into a polygon object, you would hit Alt-C and you would get the menu that comes up to convert it. And if you hit Alt-C now, you get nothing. And this is frustrating some people. So. Alt-C is now part of the grease pencil thing, which is beyond the scope of this video. But you can still go up here to Object, and you can go down to Convert To, and these things live here. But, like, who wants to keep having to use a menu and go there and go there and go there? That's just, that gets very annoying very fast. Cool thing that you can do now is on any menu item, pretty much, I, I haven't found one that, that doesn't work on yet, you can right-click and you can say add to quick favorites. And what that does is now if I hit the Q key on the keyboard, I get this quick favorites menu and I get these quick favorite icons that come up. So I had already added this before, so you see there's two of these here. Let me just remove that really quickly. So I hit Q and there it is. But if I hit it, nothing happens because you have to be on the object. So if I hit the object, now I hit Q, it's highlighted, I can hit it from there, and now I have a polygon object, right? So the cool thing is, like I said, you can add lots of different things to these menus. So for example, if I get rid of this, and I go to Object, or Add, and I go Mesh, and I say uh, I'm going to use the Taurus, I'll right-click, I'll say Add to Quick Favorites, All right? Now if I, if I go in here, and I hit Q, I can hit Taurus. Boom, there's Taurus. Right? I can I can move Taurus, I can scale Taurus, and then I can hit Q and I can say Taurus, and there's another Taurus, and I can scale Taurus, and then I can hit Q and there's another Taurus, and I can just keep going and going, right? So you can add almost anything to this. Right? So let's just say I can go over here to add this uh, select mode over here, right? I can say add to quick favorites. Now I can hit Q. And I can manage this stuff, so if I can get rid of this, right, I can get rid of, uh, I can just hit remove from quick favorites, I can go to the Taurus, I can hit remove from quick favorites, and now when I hit Q, I only have select box. Cool thing here is I did a video on left click select and, and select box uh, shortcut. I found that this is pretty cool too. While right now if I'm in edit mode and I select a bunch of things, and I go to say any one of these like the transform tool and I do something on it and then I click off of it right it doesn't just put me back into this mode I would have to like go up here and, cl and click or I'd have to hit shift space bar and then select T but here now okay I'm in edit mode I hit that boom select box is back now I can just go to the move tool just keep at it deselect right select box Boom, transform, and I can keep using this and keep going with this. So it kind of makes things a little bit easier. Select box, right? And you could also map any one of these to it. So I could do a quick add, add to quick favorites here. So now I have both the transform tool, right, and the move tool. And the, and the select box tool all in one place. So you can use this if you want. It works pretty well. And that's pretty much it. So the last thing I want to show you with this, aside from just right clicking and saying add to quick favorites or remove from quick favorites, you can also assign a shortcut. So this menu can be populated. I haven't really found a limit to how long this goes. So I, I think you could probably just keep going until your computer runs out of memory or something happens. I'm not sure what. But um, you can right-click and you can say Assign Shortcut. 
and then you can click any shortcut that you want and you can turn this into a shortcut. I don't recommend doing that because once you do that, then it's pretty much mapped and then you would have to go up to edit preferences, input, and then you would have to go through here, find it and unmap it if you wanted to do that. But you can if you want. So that wraps it up. That's the quick favorites little shortcut menu and it's it's really awesome and I, I think I'm gonna probably be using this a lot and I've already started to and it's working pretty well so hopefully you got something out of this video if you did hit subscribe like share it if you have any questions the comment sections open I urge you to be civil but uh, other than that I'll see you in the next video thanks